I'm Steve from Sounds Heavenly. I make the cables that connect Bang & Olufsen. Now if you saw my last video, you'll know that I received a very unexpected uh, loan of speakers from Anton at Skynex AV. And uh, in amongst the speakers that Anton has sent are this lovely pair of BLAB 4000 Mark I speakers. Now we're going to look in a future video at how these sound and give you the chance to hear them for yourselves. But for today, we're going to look at how they connect, how to get the best from them. So come and join me. Let's unpack them and see how we can plug them into absolutely anything. We have BLAB 4000. Superb. I can tell you straight away from the front, you'll see that there is just here a little power button that clicks in and out next to the Bang & Olufsen logo. That tells you that these are the Mark I versions. This is important, we'll get to this later, because on the back of the speaker, when we look in the socket panel, you'll see at the top corner, let's turn it so it is actually at the top, a little shiny RCA socket. Right. That's really useful. We're going to be connecting these up and testing them with some non Bang & Olufsen systems in a few minutes and we'll be using that RCA socket. The after 2008, the Mark II BioLab 4000s came out which didn't have the power button on the front and didn't have the um, RCA socket. And that's how you tell them apart. If it's got the power button and the RCA socket it's a Mark I, if it hasn't, it's a Mark II. For use with the B&O system, the cables are the same either way, power link, but for use with a non b &O system, we connect differently. Right, let's have a look. As you can see, they can be positioned either horizontally using the, the little bracket that was in the box, or vertically. They can be wall mounted and they have a, um, a set of ridges that run along the back of the case that allows a specially designed wall bracket to clip in. And on the wall, they can again go horizontally or vertically. And they can also be angled around. So whereas my trusty BLAB 3000s on the wall have to sit flush with the wall, the 4000s can be turned inwards or outwards or flat against the wall, depending on your room and your preference. Okay, a potted history. Let me see if I can get this right. I've had literally one minute to prepare whilst putting the speakers on the desk. So launched around about 1998. So they came out after BioLab 6000 and 8000, ran all the way through till 2012. Um, but in 2008, as I've mentioned, they were refreshed. They got the digital ice power amplifiers, similar to BioLab 3, um, two amplifiers, per speaker, so you have a single tweeter and a, a bass drive, which I think from memory was around about four and a half inches in diameter. Um, really quite good bass response. They came in quite a range of colors. So we had aluminum stroke gray, black, which we've got here, uh, yellow, blue, green, red, dark gray, um, aluminum and white. Uh, I think that was the whole lot launched at around about £1,100 per pair in 1998, um, going up to £1,750 at the point where they were discontinued in 2012. And yes, it was a four and a half inch woofer and a three quarters of an inch, around about 20 millimetres mid bass driver. 59 watts per amplifier, if I remember correctly. Um, one amp for each bass unit, one for each treble unit. In the same way as the trusty BLAB 3000s, these have adaptive bass linearization, which at low volumes increases the, the relative amount of bass so that you get a fuller, richer sound. And as you raise the overall level, it backs off the bass again automatically to keep it in keeping with the, the rest of the sound. So really nice, clean, rich sound, regardless of whether you listen loudly or quietly. So. Let's have a look at the socket panel again. This is the bit that I like the best. 
So really, really good for these Mark I speakers because we have the RCA line socket. Now underneath are two power link sockets and a mains power connection. As with all BLAB speakers, they always must have mains power. Now, first things first, if you've got a Bang & Olufsen television or music system, so something like a Beer Vision 7, a Beer Sound 9000, you would use a Powerlink Mark III cable for these speakers. You can use the thicker, fully wired Mark II cables, they will work fine, but these thinner cables give just as good sound at a lower cost, they're more flexible and easy to hide around the room. Nice and easy. If you need any help finding the right cables, have a look in the video description. Um, please get in touch via my website at soundsheavenly.com. Obviously I can help you with any cables you need. Now, this is where it gets a little bit different from what you might expect. That RCA line socket is used, or at the top, is the one that's used if you want to connect to anything non Bang & Olufsen. So if, if you want to connect those speakers to, let's say, a phone, an iPod, a laptop, a Sony television, um, anything that's got a headphone socket, an Airport Express, a Chromecast Audio, a Bluetooth receiver, the list goes on and on, um, this would be the cable you would use. So mini jack headphone plug to go to the music player and then two RCA Phono, also known as Kinch plugs at the other end, they split out and one goes to each speaker and they go into that little line socket at the top. So these speakers don't connect via their power link sockets when they're used with a non-Bang & Olufsen product. They physically won't switch on that way. So they have to use the RCA socket. The other option is a twin RCA to twin RCA cable for a pair of speakers. If you have a uh, Sonos Connect, Sonos port, Blue Sound node, um, any other network music player with a variable RCA output, so not a tape output because they're fixed volume, um, or an AV receiver with pre-outs, this cable will connect two of the BLAB 4000s straight into any of those devices. All you do, the little switch on the back lets you select left or right when you're running the speaker on a BNO system, or line to use it with a non BNO system. And it's as simple as that. Um, that's a very quick potted guide, so please get in touch if you've got any questions about connecting these. We've covered the Mark I version of the BLAB 4000 speakers in detail. In practice, I find that the inquiries I get for these speakers probably cover the Mark I's for at least three quarters of the people who, who have them. So around about a quarter of the speakers that I'm asked about actually turn out to be the later Mark II versions with no power button. But it's worth mentioning the differences there. Obviously if you're connecting BioLab 4000 Mark IIs to a Bang & Olufsen system then it's exactly as we've mentioned already. Powerlink Mark III cables and everything's fine. However, if you have a music player or non-Bang & Olufsen TV with a 3.5mm mini jack headphone socket, then obviously the Mark II speakers won't have an RCA line connection. They will actually connect using DIN plugs to either of the two power link sockets on the speaker. So one cable again will connect two speakers to a portable music player and again you would set both speakers to line mode using the little switch at the back. Now I must stress that this cable will not work on the Mark I speakers. They must connect via the RCA line socket. If your speakers definitely don't have that socket, this is how to connect them. And again if you have an AV receiver with pre-out sockets a Sonos Connect, a Blue Sound node, or some other device with variable volume RCA outputs, then again, this is the cable you need. One cable connects two speakers and the, the plugs can go one to each speaker into either of the two power link sockets. 
And what we do is we mark them a red band on the right, speaker cable, and no band on the left. Once again, switch both speakers to line mode. And you can, with this method, use your BLAB 4000 speakers with almost any device. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to my channel. There will be a whole lot more BNO related videos coming very soon, including the long awaited sound test comparing these BLAB 4000s with the new replacement BLAB 17. If you've got any questions about how to connect your BNO speakers to any device, please let me know. You can contact me at any time at soundsheavenly.com. And of course, if you're looking to buy a set of BLAB speakers like these, please contact Anton at skynexav.com and I'm sure he'll be happy to help. Thank you for watching.